टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मोड एंड काउंटर्स इन कंटेक्सट ऑफ सिंक्रोनस काउंटर्स मोड एंड काउंटर्स आर ऑल्सो नॉन एज अ मॉड्यूलो काउंटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट वट इज द नीड ऑफ मोड एंड काउंटर्स एक्चुअली सी बिफोर दैट वी लर्न अबाउट टू बिट सिंक्रोनस काउंटर we got also other counters which exhaust all their state diagrams means they complete their cycles like 0 1 2 3 then back to 0 same way if we have a 3 bit counter it can count from 0 to 7 if we have 4 bit synchronous counter it can count from 0 to 15 so all the combinations are fully exhausted in those counters but there are certain situations in which the counters truncate before their last state mean for examples if we got a counter which actually counts in a sequence like 0 1 2 3 4 5 and then back to 0 it means it did not complete all its combinations certain states were used and certain states were not used so the situations in which a counter truncates before its complete uses of all the combinations then at that time we make use of these counters okay means first of all we need to define what is a modulus of a counter so modulus of a counter means it is a number of the states it is number of the states that the counter that the counter passes number of states that a counter passes through before recycling to its original value to its original values okay so for example we discussed about a two bit synchronous counter in last lecture we used two bit synchronous counter so two bit synchronous counter means it got states 0 then 1 2 3 okay and then back to 0 it means this is also known as a mode for counter because all the possible states the counter is passing through same way if we have a, a three bit synchronous counter then also three bit means all the values from 0 to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 okay all the combinations are used here all the states so this also known as a mode 8 counter mode 8 counter means total of 8 states from 0 to 7 mode 4 means total 4 states 0 to 3 same way we can have a 4 bit synchronous counter in which this the sequence of the states will be from 0 to 15 and this will known as a mod 16 counter okay but i told you that kai var aisi situation aati hai jab counter beech mein hi truncate ho jata hai beech mein hi counting khatam karke wapas apni original state mein aa jata hai so i told you that in certain counters there are situations in which the counter truncates on half of its base and uh, some of the states are not uh, used so 
I tell you that what there are some counters which do not belong to the two raised to power n pattern means not all the states are used okay so they truncate means they truncate on half of uh, on uh, any point on any point before the actual possible states so for that purpose we also have some uh, uh, techniques to design those counters for example if i write mod 5 counter mod 6 counter and for example mod 10 counters etc because 5 is never 2 raised to power anything even 6 6 is not equal to 2 raised to power anything here 2 bit synchronous counter means 2 raised to power 2 4 3 bit synchronous counters means 2 raised to power 3 mod 8 but this 5 6 and 10 they can never be any value raised to power 2 so in those case also we calculate how the number of number of flip flops required so what is the criteria in this type of counters that how can we calculate number of flip flops required we use very simple formula 2 raised to power n should be greater than equal to 9 where n is the number of flip flops required and capital n is the uh, integer value integer value written after mod for example mod n so this n can be anything like 5 then say for example 6 then 10 or anything even ki 8 तो ये वैल्यू कुछ भी हो सकती है तो फॉर एग्जांपल हमारे पास है मान लो कि मोड फाइव काउंटर तो इसमें हमें फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स रिक्वायर्ड कितने होंगे हाउ मेनी फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स वी रिक्वायर्ड टू रेस्ट पावर एन शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू फाइव एंड दिस इंप्लाइज एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री so how many flip flops required three flip flops required and what is the sequence of the states sequence will be 0 1 2 3 4 and from 4 it recycles to its original state so mod 5 means 0 1 2 3 for total five states before uh, recycling it to the original state same way say for example mod 6 mod 6 counter we will now discuss here afterwards so how many flip flops are required two raised to power n should be greater than equal to n is equal to 6 this implies n is equal to 3 again 3 so how many flip flops required three flip flops required and what is the sequence sequence will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 and, and uh, again recycling to its uh, original state okay suppose one more example we do mod 10 so how many flip flops required 
टू रेज टू पावर एन शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एन एन मीन्स टेन सो दिस कम्स ऑट टू बी एन इज इक्वल टू फोर इट मीन्स हाउ मेनी फ्ली फ्लॉप्स आर रिक्वायर्ड फोर फ्ली फ्लॉप्स आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड फॉर दिस ऑल्सो द सीक्वेंस विल बी जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर and back to zero so this is the introductional part of mod and counters so to continue with mod and counters next we will discuss about mod six counters thank you